Weezer have played their most insane show yet at San Diego, California. They did skip over six of their studio albums, but still managed to deliver a mind-blowing show, a mind-blowing set list. Let's take a look. Before hopping on the anniversary tour bandwagon that's kind of ruining rock shows in 2020, Weezer are shaking things up with some wild butt set list. I have a serious problem with anniversary shows and also a problem with bands that skip any era of their catalog. Even, even the sucky ones when they do live shows, it's stupid and I hate it. I want every album to be properly represented by one or more songs. Uh, but, you know, if these anniversary shows are funneling money into the rock and roll world uh, after a worldwide disaster, I guess it will eventually turn things back around to the creative side of things. Uh, so I'm going to let it slide. Weezer, Setlist Insanity. Like I was saying, ideally I like to hear one or two songs from each era of a band, but this Weezer show in San Diego, it's just epic. Not only are the songs that they chose to play wild, the songs in the eras that they chose to ignore are wild and bold as well. Sure, I knew they'd skip Hurley and Ratitude, which hurt my feelings, but I was prepared for it. Same situation with teal and black, I suppose, but they ignored white and the recent Van Weezer, which kind of blew my stack. It, it blew my stack. Of course, they went heavy on blue, but didn't do the full album. We're going to get that ad nauseum for the next 10 years. I'm sure of it. Uh, six songs from blue in three hits and three deep cuts. I like the balance in that aspect. And yes, my hands are dirty and blue. Look, I got I got blue album juice on me. Now I'm tie-dyeing shirts. Ah! Make Believe, Maladroit, and Green Weezer got two songs apiece. All of the big hits except for one deep cut in Bernadette Jam. Is that how you say that? Burnt Jam? Burnt Lamb? Me no pronounce words, goody. From everything will be all right, yada, 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 we get Anonymous, which is an underrated deep cut. That was, that was probably one of the most exciting songs. Uh, if I was there in person, that would probably be like my most excited would be for Anonymous. We do get the big OK Human hit with all my favorite songs, which feels just weird to say out loud without singing, are oh, slow and sad, because... It's just the natural flow of things. I had to look up if that was the actual title of the song because it just feels weird. All my favorite songs. From Pacific Nightmare, as I like to call it. It's, you know what I'm talking about. Pacific Daydream, we get a closing track. Perhaps the deepest of the deepest cuts. And I guess, you know, Any Friend of Diane is the song that they played, which is one of, one of the more tolerable tracks in the sea of Pacific Daydream. The vomit-inducing horror scope. The horror scape. It was a good choice. Any Friend of Diane's is a friend of mine. Don't worry, I'll show you the full set list and stop being weird in a little bit. Well, I'll do part of that. We get the floppy disk single, Pink Tringle, because it rhymes and the narrative of the song has literally happened to me in my life multiple times and it hurts really bad when that thing happens. They didn't have a pink triangle patch, but God! Run Raven Run is a deep cut from the Autumn EP and also makes me wonder if, if Weezer were just kind of looking at the B-sides of their records and the last tracks of their albums to make this bonkers set list because how many final songs is that now? Uh, you tell me. I don't want to tell you. Comment section me, please. From the glorious Red album, we get only the big hit Pork and Boings. Beans and Bork. The deepest song in the entire set list, 
We've said that once, but now it's really actualizing in my brain, my pink fingers. I did not like uh, tie-dyeing shirts. That's the story we're going to go with. The deepest song in the set list would be You Gave Your Love to Me Softly. But oddly enough, because this is Weezer, and we got to be odd and lopsidey leggies, it's the deepest song, but not the most oddest or the odd, oddest part of the night. Everybody hates Courtney Love, or at least they used to, uh, but everybody hates Chris and Weezer freaking covered Hole's celebrity skin. And I just cannot imagine that. Ultimately, Weezer performed 11 hits, some of them kind of of the lesser known hits, and nine really interesting deep cuts, which in today's rock scene is just unheard of. Virtually unheard of anyway. And I wanted to make a video about how cool Weezer is. Weezer R is. It's is when you're talking about a band, because it's like a singular plural. Not only did Weezer perform with style and aplomb, Leave a comment if you got that joke or reference, because it wasn't funny. But they also added a Brian verse to the song called All My Favorite Songs and injected Troublemaker, One More Hit, Everybody Get Dangerous, uh, in little pieces throughout various, various songs in the set. Just epic, nerdy, nerdy stuff going on. And I'm going to show you right now, this is the set list. I like the word complete, he said, through his gaping hole. Is it too open? Is it too shut? This is something that fills his never vacant mind. Does he have anything up there worth saying? I like the feeling of pain. I get off on the pain. It doesn't really translate to that for me. Nothing in his life can get him down except for that one need, that one thing he can't ever seem to find or... That never seems to find him. Is he too open? Is he too shut? Is he really happy? Is he really sad? Does he really know? He says, I like the word complete. No one ever shows him what that means. He's a jigsaw. He's a jigsaw. He's a jigsaw. Will he ever get anything but cut? He's open and he's shut. Complete. 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 